Well, um, my name is Tiffany McCracken. Um, I was born right here in the Vail Valley, and I'm so proud to be raising my four-year-old son, Skylar, um, in the same place that I was fortunate enough to grow up um, in and call, uh, call home, uh, along with my husband, Josh. So I am here today to tell you about the invaluable experience with early intervention and childhood behavioral health here in Eagle County. My son, Skylar, struggles with sensory processing disorder. Um, the first time I knew something was wrong, he was about five months old. We were at the beach, and he was fascinated by the water, but would scream any time his feet touched the sand. Uh, this aversion to texture manifested into situations that made everyday excursions stressful and made me, as a new mama, feel like I must be doing something wrong. Uh, after voicing concerns with the pediatrician, um, we were introduced to Megan Schall, occupational therapist and sensory disorder specialist, and Gretchen Stitch, speech and language pathologist, and Liz Kuziska. I was like, where are you? Yeah, okay, 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 there we go. Okay. Right. I knew I was just first yeah. too. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's when they came into our lives. Skylar was evaluated by their team in early 2017 when he was just a year old. And it became quite evident at the time that he would benefit from in-home services for both sensory processing disabilities as well as speech delays. He is now a thriving little guy, sweet as pie and smart as they come. But because of Megan and Gretchen, he is also an active participant in preschool activities and is adored by both his peers and teachers alike. So this story has a good ending. <laughs> I will never forget the first time Megan was at our house and explained to my husband and me what sensory processing disorder was. She used the example of Skylar's bare feet on the grass. Megan told us that when Skylar touched the grass, his nerve endings didn't respond to this sensation as ours do. You know, that sort of light tickly feeling. Instead, Skylar experienced an exacerbated response and that same grass under his feet felt to him like stepping on hundreds of bees, extremely painful. Had it not been for Megan's expertise, we would have never understood why Skylar was so sensitive to sensory stimuli. And as a result of the coaching, support, and calming strategies, activities, and techniques for the sensory system that she taught us, we were able to start tackling some of the most challenging barriers facing Skylar every day. Both Josh and I are no strangers to mental illness um, and learning disabilities, and autism happens to run in my family. When we first started working with Megan and Gretchen, they kept telling us how critical early intervention was in the overall success of little ones with developmental delays. In those early days, I was so scared of an autism diagnosis that my brain was unable to interpret the tangible improvements early intervention might be able to address. However, as I look back on it now, I genuinely feel that the level of support our family received likely saved our child from an eventual spectrum categorization. Along with the sensory challenges Skylar faced, he was also quite delayed in his ability to use expressive language. By two years old, he could tell me all the letters of the alphabet in random order, spell out and identify words from memory, and sing the alphabet backwards at two. <laughs> but he could not answer the simplest who, what, where, or why questions. I would ask him, what did you have for breakfast? And his response, even if the food was right in front of him, was always, I don't know. He could name every Disney car character, um, point him out everywhere, but if, if I asked him who was in a particular scene, he wouldn't be able to tell me. Um, but this time Skylar was putting numbers in order and had an exceptional memory, but that expressive delay continued making everyday communication almost impossible. Not being able to answer questions was equally frustrating in the sensory realm. He would get so upset, and because he couldn't express himself, we were unable to help him regulate and calm down. Again, enter our guardian angels. Um, Megan continued services at home, and Gretchen went to Skylar's preschool every week and worked steadily to get his expressive language to a better level. Not only that, but I think the critical part is that she became Skylar's special, special friend at school, both boosting his confidence in the classroom with his socially normal peers and being there for him as a loving friend when he needed that emotional support during rough times. Skylar is now enrolled at Brush Creek Elementary and is on an individual education plan, I think I said that right, with excellent teachers and a classroom full of resources to help him overcome everyday challenges he faces. Without the wise observances and collaboration of Megan, Gretchen, and Liz Castaldo, wow, <laughs> <laughs> um, with early childhood partners, we would not have been encouraged to have him evaluated by the district 
He's so much happier in his new environment. A wonderfully blended classroom of Head Start, IEP, and conventional preschoolers. And there is no doubt on my mind that he is on the right path to thriving as he enters elementary school. Okay, I'm almost done. The icing on the cake of our experiences with Childhood Behavioral Health Services in Eagle County was the Incredible Years Parenting class called Cotton Taught by Julia Kazusko <laughs> and run through early, I knew I was going to butcher it, <laughs> run through early childhood partners. Megan and Liz referred us to the course, and I think it's fair to say that it was the most transformative 14 weeks yes. of our lives as parents. Uh, the tools we learned from Julia <laughs> and her partner Emily will be with us forever. We have been able to rise above many obstacles and behavioral challenges with the techniques learned during the program. It's given us renewed strength and confidence as parents to our wonderful son, so thank you for that. <laughs> I can't help but feel th thoroughly blessed for each intervention and piece of our early childhood journey. Skyler is such a loving little guy and deserves the very best, and I truly believe we got it with these superb providers and programs. My greatest hope is that other families get the same help, support, and understanding offered to our family. I'm grateful to the governor for making this a priority in his administration and to the many local advocates of early childhood behavioral health in the Vail Valley. Thank you for your time.